that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Hero for Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be transforming an old stool that I got from Family Dollar into an ottoman with storage. Now I started by analyzing the stool. If any of you have this kind of stool at home, you would notice that on the legs, on the upper side, it's kind of extended. So because of that, I am going to cut out a round wooden board. This is a hard wooden board that I'm going to be using. And I cut it to compensate that extra extension that the legs have. I'm going to keep the wooden board aside because I'm going to be using that much later. For now, I'm going to be wrapping the whole stool with a particle board that I got from Home Depot. And I'm going to be using just one piece that I cut to size. And this costs just $3. I'll be drilling in holes to make it easy for me to pass through zip ties to hold the stool together with the board. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I want to let you guys know that this board is really, really hard when you're making a curve with it. So because of that, I had to support it with my legs as I work. Now it's going to be much easier if you have someone else holding it at both ends. Closing the board with zip ties was not easy at all because it was really, really hard. So I will advise that you have someone hold it firmly while you drill your holes and use the zip ties. For those of you who would want to attempt this, I would like to let you guys know that you should install the zip ties vertically and not horizontally. Because if you do it horizontally, it's going to break or crack, like the open size that you see there. So it should be installed vertically. When I was done, I made sure that all of the legs were held down to the board with two zip ties. So two zip ties per leg. The next thing I'm going to do is cover the entire thing with foam. I use leftover pieces of foam that I have at home and glued them together to cover the board with it. The next thing I did was to make points that is about 5.5 inches apart. After that, I made holes on these points using a pair of scissors. After that, I added batting. I'll be using this fabric that I got from Walmart and it's $2 for a yard and I got six yards. That's $6. It stretches and it's really, really strong. With my fabric over it, all I'm going to be doing now is locating where the holes are and stapling it down.
I glued one side and then the other side was folded and stapled down. This is the bottom part and all I'm going to be doing is gluing the fabric down. Now I'm going to be covering the middle with a round board. I forgot to mention this earlier. Before you start your tufts, it's really important that you have extra fabric on the other side to make sure that when you're done, it can be used to cover the inside. You can still see the legs of the stool. Now, if you don't want these to show, you can just have another round board that's gonna go right inside and with the same height of the stool and then seal the top. I didn't want to go through all that, so I just left mine the way it is. For the top, I'll be using this hard, round, wooden board that I had already cut and showed you guys at the beginning of the video. This board is going to be covered with 1 inch foam. And I'm also going to be making tufts on it, just like I did for the body of the stool. When I was done, I glued all the extra fabric to the wood that's at the back and then covered it with another thin board that I had covered with the same fabric. I then finished up the look with crystal buttons. And I attached these buttons with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun, just because I might be sitting on it once in a while. Here is what it now looks like. This is a cute ottoman that's strong enough to sit on. And the interesting thing is, it also has storage. This is such an interesting transformation from what it used to look like before. So the stool that I had before was used for just sitting. Now I converted it to something that can be sat on and also be used for storage. I spent $15 on this project and it turned out so pretty. I always tell people that you should try as much as you can to look around your home for what you can work on instead of throwing it away or buying brand new items. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.